unlucky with the ARS glitch last weekend. We can reduce our chances of similar failures in the future by focusing on upgrades to our powertrain. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I will take your advice, sir. And I will focus my efforts on improving the powertrain. That is the Ferrari way. Hello, everybody. Welcome to race number three of the F1 2022. Oh, they got rid of the 20, didn't they? F1 22 career with Ferrari. Where are we going? Oh, Australia. So, the old traditional start of the season, huh? Eh? All right. Well, good lord, this music. Uh, let's see. 4,000 points. Can we actually do something? We've got that. Okay, we can we can get this. Do we get it for any... Only a 20% chance of failure. That's pretty low. We could even rush it and have it before Australia for only a 45% chance of failure. Do it. No balls. <laughs> that was such a mistake. <laughs> Why would I do that? Chessy. Uh, we've got a complete, but that's not available yet. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, we've got a complete, and we have something available. Let's not rush this. Let's make sure this is ready, because I believe the event after Australia is Imola. And it would probably be good to have a good car there. Or they might kill us. You just don't know. You don't know. You don't know how it's going to be. Um, nothing we can do here. Nothing we can do here. Okay. All right. So we continue to have lots of points. And no way to spend them. Uh... I guess we'll go ahead and see if that fails, huh? Completed without issue. They'll be on the car, ready for the next race weekend. I don't know if that includes the one we just did the Risky Bisky. Uh, durability department wants to know. Uh, the, the team ended up going with your idea, and unfortunately re the results weren't good. It is going to take some effort to fix it. Durability morale is down 10%. You know, I want them. I want them to experience these hardships because uh, without them, they'll never truly know what it's like to work for Ferrari. Uh, oh, those did fail. Good, good. Yep, never, never take I risks. We were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. We need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R and D. Boy, they really, they really cranked up that on this, didn't they? They were just like. You want to race for Ferrari? Cool. Hope you don't like to develop your car. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll go do my my silly Pirelli hot lap stuff and do some practice for Australia, and I will see you for qualifying. Okay, Australia is new. I forgot about that. It is uh, is a slightly different track, and I like it actually. I think the changes they made have made it a little bit more manageable. This is a track that I previously put on my list of most difficult tracks, and now I would say it's still somewhat difficult, but not nearly as bad as it used to be. The issue I always fight here is it just f never feels like the rear end of the car is in the track. I don't know what it is about the place that makes it that way, but that just is me how I do. And... Usually the name of the game around Australia is how much can you be aggressive on the curbs and how quick can you get back to the throttle. So that's what we're going to focus on. Of course, these cars have a little bit less downforce than previous years. This is where the track is very new. So it's much faster there, much more opened up. And the chicane here is just gone. Just eradicated. Imagine removing chicanes <laughs> from racetracks. Wild. I think the biggest bummer in that is that that new very long straightaway they made leads into a switchback turn. Like it's a it's a it's a right left. Why well, was on the brakes way too early there? So Basically, they're saying the only passing opportunity that this presents is DRS, and that's a disappointment. Or not even DRS, but just like 
you know, drafting overtake. Let's see, can we get into the 20s? No, actually. That is a that is a 21-4. That might be good enough. But I might have to go again. I'll have to keep an eye on it. Alright, not the most comfortable obsession there. I mean P10 is okay. Uh, but I did save tires. Now I have a ton of sets. Ton of sets? A ton of sets of tires to use because I took all the softs I could for qualifying, so. We're looking good. We're looking good. But we do need to chop down a good second off our time in order to be competitive. But now that we made it to Q2, now I'm actually going to try. <laughs> that sounds that sounds so egotistical. Uh, it's not true. I don't have an ego. I suck. <laughs> All right. So we got two new sets, actually three new sets technically, to use in this session. So I'm going to go out immediately. We're going to try to put another lap in. And then we'll have something to compare to. I just always do better when I have a Delta lap. The fact that you still can't keep Delta laps throughout the weekend is so infuriating. I guarantee you the real cars have data logging from session to session. <laughs> something tells me the drivers have the ability to know their deltas from previous sessions, but whatever. It's not like millions of dollars get spent on making these games every year. Oh, my drifting challenge was so easy today, too. I'm glad I didn't bother recording it, because it was... It was almost, like, mind-numbingly easy. I think I more than doubled the score, and I just barely tried. Again, not gloating, it's just, it's just stupid. <laughs> right, let's break a little later here. It's almost like they didn't move the brake boards there, but the braking point is different than it used to be. Kind of odd. They just all feel too early. Okay. I don't think that's a 20, and that's where we need to be. It's two tenths quicker than my first lap, but we need a lot more than that, so let's load up some new tires, eh? Alright, so I think the situation here is that we will have two sets of softs to use in Q3, which would be nice. That would be very nice. Assuming we get there, but I think we can get there, considering we've already picked up time. It looks pretty good to me. Although, see that's the turn. Uh, I don't know what to do here. That turn's been kind of catching me out for a while. Okay, he went in. I gotta try and get turned around. How many laps? You have three laps of fuel. I can maybe salvage this actually. These tires are going to be barely run in. So let's just piddle around for a lap, not use any battery energy, not get the tires too hot. They're going to be a little bit scrubbed. But I think we can still make this work. I don't know why I just hit the RS. Just trying to, you know, save fuel, of course. I'm going to drag you around this lap with me. I kind of went back and forth on setup trying to get more rear downforce into the thing because it does have a tendency to get squirmy on throttle, but it just didn't... It, it made it understeer, but it never made it not get so weird on throttle. They definitely did some thing wrong <laughs> with the physics in this version. Like, the, the wheel spin is to me, completely unrealistic. And maybe it's not unrealistic, it's just unmanageable. Like, I don't have enough feedback from the car to be able to know what to do to drive it. I'm sure there are people out there that can manage, but... 
To me, it just don't feel right. All right, let's see. The weight on the car there. We don't have a full battery charge. This might not be great. We'll see. We need to kind of pick up time everywhere. Which causes you to overdrive. Oh, no. We have time. You know what? You know what? Uh, if we just do return to the garage, do we have enough time to put on the other set of tires? Because I am not confident. We're already ninth. Mm, let's see. Let's see if there's enough time. Drama. Injury. Two minutes, yes. Okay. All right, don't balls this up, huh? It's a shame to lose my extra set of tires there, but I'm glad I had them. Or this would have been a real, real bummer. Already better. Almost did the same thing. Gonna back my braking marker up there. In the future. I knew there was time to be had there. Try to keep the wheel nice and open. Don't bind up the car. Also shorten the track as much as I can. Good exit there. Get a purple middle sector. Good exit there. Got me again? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This might be a very interesting race. We have got no time. Uh, two cars do better, then we're out. Not much we can do about it. I got only myself to blame, just pushing it too hard. Didn't want to stick. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> we are so lucky. We are so lucky that nobody improved. Uh, I, I didn't know if they would or wouldn't, so I had to send it. Well, well, we get uh, a third life here. Let's see if we can make the most of it. But we're only going to get one real chance here in Q3. I guess this set is the best of the rest. So we'll put that on and do a run early and then go back out on the new set. Boy, I thought this was going to be a fairly straightforward qualifying, but it has not been. It also has not gotten sunny. The forecast definitely said it was supposed to get sunny. I'm hoping the car behaves a bit better when the track is warm. Because it was not this snappy in practice. And it is snappy. It's mean. Easy to overdo it there. That's better. I just have to go by feel. No delta, you know. It felt better. Kinda basing myself off of, I think, Lewis up there. <sighs> oh. 
Why is it this way? Carlos did a 20.5. We've got an engine fault, I think. Or possibly just a worn, worn part. It is a Ferrari after all. I don't think that was better than Lewis, I don't know. A 20.2, a 20.3, you know what? Actually my best lap yet, so that's that's encouraging. That is encouraging. Button 21, what's going on? Don't know. Seems to be saying something is mad. Uh, the gearbox is pretty worn. I see he's at 48. He's on a cooldown lap, okay. Alrighty. Now we're nothing. We're gonna go on new tires. I'd really like to fight for pole here. I feel like I need to redeem myself after this up and down qualifying session. And uh, a pretty rough week in Saudi Arabia. Currently P3, so it's not a disaster. But I feel like there's a lot more in it. Got some there. Break early here. It paid on the exit, but it gave me too much exit speed. Didn't kill the lap. But it didn't help it either. Purple Sector 1. Spike the blunder. Stretch short in the track. But not bog it down. Not my best effort there. Definitely my best effort in that turn. Don't let it loop. Oh boy. Killed it. We just killed this lap. Oh. Oh. Well, no pole this week. So close. Well, what do you think? Are we going to be on pole position? If you think so, I appreciate your optimism, but um, you may want to Melbourne, drop the drugs. As we continue with what could shape up to be one of the best Australian Grand Prix ever. Ever. Has there ever really been any good ones? I can't remember any. <laughs> It's usually kind of a dud of a race. Here we are then at the Albert Park Circuit, 3.28 miles of bumpy Prove me city wrong. streets, but not a lot in the way of elevation changes. The circuit goes all the way around the lake, taking in 14 corners. Note the DRS zones into turns 1, 3, and 13. And they'll offer our drivers a number of good opportunities to overtake. That's a new bit? No. Yes? I don't know. It's time yeah. to see how no. our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. George Russell will begin today's event in pole position. And Lewis Hamilton Mercedes completes front the row front row lockout. As we continue through the rest you, you of the grid that, today, right? <laughs> we have Verstappen, Cohen, okay, Sergio so we're Perez, P4. and Norris. Sainz, and Sainz is P7. Fernando Alonso, I did not expect that either. Gasly. I do wonder if Bottas, our car Joe, maybe not so great on the Kiki downforce Sinanda, tracks. And Fettel, Magnuson, Mick Schumacher, it did kind of Stroll, present itself Alexander, in that way, didn't it? Latifi and Daniel Ricardo fills the oh, last spot on the grid. Bummer. It's almost time for the lights to go out. <laughs> That's so a let's bummer. Head down to the track where preparations are underway. Home race advantage. Root. Joins me once again in the Over 750 reptile species live today. in Australia. I'm curious though, how do you think the drivers stop Good. those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into turn one, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It'll keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. 
Wow, she actually sounded like she cared. <laughs> Weird. Okay, now that we've got some good points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Top 10? I'm, I'm going to be very disappointed for anything less than a podium. Um, selected strategy. You see it. It's the top one. Is a five-lap run on softs. We, again, don't have new ones because I kept spinning out. And 10 laps on the mediums. I don't see anything wrong with that. I do see something wrong with the amount of fuel we have on board. But I think that's the winning strategy. So we are going to run with it. And just try not to mess up the start. Try not to mess up the run into turn one. And then watch the oversteer. Let's do it. Oh, I was late. I was super late. Okay. I I kind of undersold that turn, but I think that worked in my advantage because it let me get off the turn well. Which happens very quickly trying to get this position on Hamilton. Kind of washed wide there. I actually haven't run with the other cars on track at all. Well, near me anyway. So maybe I can pick up a thing or two here. I'm gonna try and save some battery power for when DRS is around. Okay, much heavier on fuel here. Must be careful. So watch these Red Bulls, they are fast. Especially on the straightaways. What do you guys think? Do you like the new layout? Do you miss the old layout? As of now, I gotta say I'm a fan. <laughs> They've got so much better drive out of the turns than me. Okay, we're, we're maintaining this gap here. It doesn't feel quite as bad as it was in Saudi Arabia where I couldn't maintain this distance to the leaders very well. I think my car is going to get better as fuel burns off. Balance will improve a bit. I do think I have the straightaway speed to overtake a Mercedes. So, let's try to do that. No DRS yet. We have a nice tow. The yellow flag behind us. Please don't be Carlos. Okay, the incident's been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. Come it's on. Carlos. I can just feel it in my bones. All you can do is laugh. All you can do is laugh. Because it's better than crying. Surprised I didn't get DRS there. Okay. We're maintaining, and now I think starting to close the gap a bit. Carlos has dropped out of the race. Great. She would tell me why. I just want to know why. This is probably unwise. But often racing drivers aren't known for uh, making the moves that are wise. A uh, yellow flag, bud. <laughs> Suck it. Thanks, Carlos. <laughs> I 
I'm worried about Max leaving us now. Yeah, I saw it. I think it. Further back than I thought. I thought I was closer and had DRS. But I do not. Too much curb. Way too much curb. Also, how do you feel about the shorter races? Honestly, to me, it's been a little bit of a breath of fresh air. It's it's making me enjoy it a bit more again. Just kind of condensing the action down. I love how the strategy played out in the long ones, but sometimes it was just, I don't know, daunting to fill the air. <laughs> As the race slowed down. Also, also fighting for grip there. I think I can get around us all. Oh, he's got DRS. I didn't think he would. Well, that works out good for us because it's keeping keeping us closing in on Verstappen. This could be an opportunity. Got a lot of battery energy here. Nice work, mate. That brings you off a place. That's how that works. Use the curb. Yeah, DRS. This is a hell of an in lap. I almost want to send this lap just to have the fastest lap, but I'm not going to ruin the strategy. I think I think it is the right strategy. No reminder to box. There goes Max. Ooh, I thought he was going to bit it. Optimal. Oh, I don't know if I got held or if I did that clutch drop wrong. I think I got held to not have it on safe release on Max. I hate the way they dump you out on the track there. That's going to give advantage Max. I don't know if this is going to be anything I can really do to answer him here. Seems like they just are able to hop up on the tires a lot quicker than I can. Gotta be a little careful with this lower grip. Yeah, you can feel the lower grip there. Should be getting better. He's made it around, well, he really didn't make it around too cleanly there. But I think I might have picked up some time. Andy. I don't think there's anything strategy between us. It's just going to be, can I outdrive him? This is good. We got a little DRS. This is not good. We got cars coming out. Russell should be easy to overtake here. Not as easy as I'd hoped. Like I said, their tires just seem to fire off 
way better than ours. Yeah, that's pretty much, I think, given Max free pass. Is he already around? No, okay. He's 1.9 ahead, got it. Understood. Extra focus. Get all you can get. I'm gonna have to worry about Russell. I felt like all through qualifying I had the fastest car, I just wasn't wasn't putting in the laps. Oh, this is brilliant. He's getting held up. But he's got to get DRS. A freebie. Gonna use my battery energy just to maintain through that. We won't have it here. Easy with that curb. I'm flirting with disaster right there. This is a good pace though. Looks like we're a little quicker on the straightaways. This is exactly what we need. I don't know why Carlos has been so, or was so off on base. Unless he just had a bad qualifying also. Of course, it, in the end, wouldn't have mattered. Okay, watch the rear tires. We gained this lap, but not by much. Thanks to that last sector. Trying to recharge. Nuts. Big lockup. Lost a place to Russell. Pull right in front of. Okay, focus. We need to stay on form. Just giving it too many beans to try to close in on Verstappen there. But had to do it. It was either full beans and best effort or. Just ride around to finish second. I think we can easily get back around Russell. Maybe we'll catch a safety car or something. Who knows? We're still in line for a pretty darn good result here. Try not to get down on it. No silly mistakes. Trying to let it cool down a bit. We're catching the car ahead. Well done. But be aware, these tires need to get us to the end of this race. We would need a safety car by like now. <laughs> And they are just eating us up on the brakes. I need to make sure I work on that development more than anything, I think. Well, as restrictive as the tree is now, it's kind of hard to focus in on something like that. Definitely faster than Russell on the straightaways. No matter how curvy they are. Ooh, he just had a little slide. Why do I keep hopping that curve? It's terrible. Let's 
so close to VRS. I can smell it. Really struggling right there. Middle sector is where we're making time. Even on Verstappen. We still have fast slap. Hi, it's me. These rear tires, cool. Can save some battery energy still. When I make this move, I want it to be all said and done. I don't want to fight wheel to wheel. The amount for as close as on me there is wild. I think we've done this wrestle once before. Bit different this time though. But I get to DRS. The post pass DRS is a rarity. I take the new engine parts for this race. Feels like that was a mistake on my part. I honestly didn't expect to be so quick here. I also forgot that the track had changed. That's all on me. I do wish your engineers and whatnot would suggest things like that, like, hey, we might want to look at our parts for this weekend before you sign off. But, we get what we get. I definitely feel like we uh, threw away the opportunity for a race win, living by how much I'm closing in on Verstappen here. It feels bad. But we'll get it. We'll get there. So if the car is coming to me a bit. Got some development to do. Got lots more park failures to have. Second's good. I like second. Second's cool. You guys ever finish second? <laughs> oh boy. Tires aren't even that hot. I don't know why I got so angry there. Just been giving it a few turns though to relax. Looks like I could have taken even a little bit less fuel. I'll have to remember that.
With tire wear and strategy, it seems unlikely anybody's going to steal my fastest lap, so that's good. Point to point. Little battle behind us. I kind of am pulling for Hamilton or Russell in that fight. Pulling for the Mercedes because I feel like we're going to need points on Red Bull. I definitely just heard some contact. So good to know they hit each other, not just us. Man, this car is bad fast here. <laughs> if only it was a little bit less of a handful. Okay, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. I think we could have really sealed the deal. Of course, starting from pole would have helped. What you gonna do? Hamilton back around Perez. This is really gonna hurt our manufacturer points. Winning the driver's title? That's great. But what Ferrari wants is manufacturer title. That's what they're here for. Just for good measure. Oh, Max. That's rude. <laughs> so rude. Ah, well. Hey, it's, it's a podium. Could have been a little bit better, though. Yeah, give it to him. Just give it to him. Today. Oh, that hair. Oh, that hair. Who who signed off on that? How do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I think that smart tire management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination that is actually that logical. Absolute maximum out of their tires at all times. No follow up. Awkward silence. Okay. Good. Ooh, Red Bull put up an outstanding doing? fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted Hit me. by today's race win. All three on the podium here. This will have major championship implications. Okay, I bet I've seen enough. Let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed. Max Verstappen now leads the driver's championship. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Natalie Pinkham, come on, who do you pick? Max Verstappen seemed to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care in the world. A care He's in the world. definitely my driver of choice. Let's move on to the constructors. And pulling further ahead in the standings, it's Red Bull. Oh, yeah. Well, that was well, certainly an exciting weekend it's of not Formula so bad. 1. Be sure to join us for more exciting Formula 1 action very soon. It's not so bad. Uh, the drivers is interesting. 42, 40, 40, 40. <laughs> Three-way tie for third. Um, I don't like how much gap Max has pulled at this point, but it doesn't feel insurmountable at this point. So we'll we'll just have to keep trying to build on that. Did Danny Rick end up uh, getting anything? No. No. Do we get to know what happened? Nope, just DNF. Maybe it says under race director. Incidents. Please. F6. Mechanical failure. DNF. Uh, Russell got a, a warning for that collision. Shall we look at the highlights? I, I provided some, that's for sure. <laughs> Completely my intent. Right. Pretty clean there. Yeah, honestly, that was that was a pretty decent start, despite being late to the party. 
followed pretty close through here. Those two going side by side really help. Oh, I forgot about me dragging the dirt there. That, that set me back. Why well, that first lap was messy. Messy, messy. What do we do here? What happens? Is it a pass? I don't think so. Not until much later in life. Is it because I hit the dirt there? Maybe. Are they even gonna No, they're not even gonna include my pass, really? They're gonna include this pass on Latifi? No. Maybe? Ooh, look at that slow-mo DRS opening. Fancy. Very fancy. Just fade him over. Well deserved. And then... I didn't think he was going to leave me enough room there, but he did. And then do I blow this turn, or do I make it? Uh, I blow it. I would love to see how that played out. <laughs> and then this is my pass back. On Russell, I think. I don't know. I think this is after the lockup. They might have missed that. Yeah, I'm gonna throw him this move. Did they miss my? F yeah, they missed my first move like this. Yoink! I'll be taking that, but then wasn't a great exit, and that was that. Okay. All right. That was that. We'll see you next time.